Hello everybody, Clint Seeley here. I just wanted to record another short tutorial um, for y'all to kind of uh, give you a different perspective on how we digitize elements and, and basic shapes and things of that nature. There's a lot of shapes that are easy to just uh, acquire and digitize them and make them look nice but they're flat and sometimes you want a shape maybe to even though it's all going to be the same color you might want the shape to have a little little more character or depth more of a 3d look um, and there may be several different elements uh, that will make up that single shape for so for this example I'm gonna I'm just gonna use a star I'm gonna show you how uh, you you can easily digitize a star and it'll be kind of flat it, won't look all that great it could be better or how you can properly digitize a star that can be used in a variety of different sizes and even look very good um, small a, a star is one of those shapes that if you try to make that dude very small it just doesn't turn out well so I'm gonna kinda show you how to hack your way around that or how to how to actually make a star that will look good and have um, detail and depth and kind of a 3d look so let's switch over to the the art canvas here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can easily draw a, a, a star using the polygon tool it's real easy to do um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that now this is not the preferred way but this is one way to do so we'll just click here and enable that flyout menu and go over here to the interactive polygon tool and now, now we've selected that shape. Now, of course, here you can select how many points you want in your polygon, a star. Most stars are going to be five points, so we're good at where we're at. And I'm, this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to go ahead and um, draw out a polygon. And then I'm going to go to the node or the reshape vector object tool. And I'm just going to grab one of these nodes and, and come in kind of flipping it and you can see how that star shape is taking effect now this doesn't have to be perfect of course because this is not going to be the actual star that we're going to use and then I'll just rotate that dude and to where until it's you know pretty much uh, where we want it and there you go you've got a star now that's easy star like that super easy let me convert this to to embroidery and here we go you see you've got a star and it's just uh, using a fill stitch nothing fancy about it but if we took that star and we wanted to make this star really small say a quarter of an inch tall by a quarter of an inch wide as we zoom in you see you're gonna lose some of your some of your edges and your crispness and as this gets smaller and smaller there's going to be fewer and fewer uh, stitches and you're going to lose some detail okay if you're going big or you're doing applique something like that okay no no big deal but I don't really I'm really not satisfied with this star that's not how um, I like to digitize stars now it, looking at this star you can see the star is going to be five different shapes that start off with a triangle and come down as you can if you can envision like this I've already drawn this I've already drawn this shape out and I'm just going to use the wreathing tool to to give it five uh, sides and create a 3d effect I'm gonna show you so let's go ahead and undo also and I'm gonna delete this guy also <clears throat> I've created a blog post and if you go to the say it with stitches .net website and view view the blog post where this tutorial is you can download this shape that I use in this project in that blog post you can download this Corel draw shape absolutely for free and you can use it any way that you want so let's go ahead and hit the import button and then I'm gonna to go to my embroidery library over here that's where I keep all of my files I just created a library instead of you know doing a go to my documents and then having another folder inside another folder I just made embroidery a library by itself so everything inside this folder this library everything in here is just nothing but my embroidery stuff so here I've got a a little shape called star shape for wreath digitizing and I'm gonna import that dude and we'll we'll hit enter and there you go what this is is I've just taken I've just drawn this shape 
This can be digitized in wreathed, um, and you just want five elements in your wreath, and that'll make that'll make the shape. So here, I'll show you how easy it is. We have that dude selected. We hit convert, and I'm gonna make this guy smaller, of course. Let's come down quite a bit, like this here, and let me zoom in on this. And I want I want this shape. I want it to be. A satin stitch so we're going to change the satin stitch and I'm going to go ahead and change the stitch angle too as you zoom in you can see you got like a 45 degree stitch angle here I'm just going to go ahead and make it zero degrees and we do that by going here to the reshape object and now you can see your handlebar here that has your stitch angle and as we grab that handlebar I'm going to get up here to zero let it go and there we go all right now I'm just going to take this guy and I'm going to wreath him. Now watch. Um, that wreath, I believe, is it what is that? It's on the mirror merge. Yeah, we just go to the wreath. And we're going to, not two, we're going to select five elements. And watch here. As we wreath this guy together and bring it in, we're going to put it right up on each other, like so. Do you want to merge? No, I, I don't want to merge because I want there to be five individual elements making up this one shape. So I'm going to hit no, and there you go. You've got a star. And you see, you've got a star that, ha that has a 3D effect. It has texture. It has depth and dimension. That looks like a star, okay? That is a much better effect. And this guy, you can take this star. What does it come out? We're at... Uh, half an inch high you can take this star and you know you can go down to like a quarter of an inch with this star you can go pretty small and still you're going to still have some 3d and some depth it's still going to look okay okay and of course you can take this guy you know up to an inch or so and it's gonna look great so that's it for the start oh if you like my video please hit like on the YouTube or share my blog post and remember the shape that I used in, in this tutorial is available for free download anytime you like, right from the sayitwithstitches.net uh, blog. Just do a search for my name in the blog section. Thanks for watching.